Good morning. It is Wednesday, the 29th of March. Our top story today, the TV presenter and comedian Paul O'Grady has died at the age of 67. In a statement, his partner, Andre Portasio, said he passed away unexpectedly but peacefully yesterday evening and thanked fans for all the love they've shown him over the years. Our entertainment correspondent, Lizo Mazimba, looks back at his life and his career. I get too hungry. He first came to fame as the charismatic drag queen Lily Savage. The act, honed in a succession of pubs, had to be toned down for TV, but it was still acerbic and acid tongued as ever. So I'm stood having a drink, and I looked over, and here's old Rika walked in the door, wearing the same frock as me. I didn't know she had a little what's catalogue. I was flaming. <laughs> Lily fast became an audience favourite, hosting some of TV's best known shows. It's Thursday, it's seven o'clock, it's top of the pops. Please welcome the hostess of Blankety Blank, <laughs> Lily Seville. The former social worker's alter ego, now an unlikely family favourite. Something few would have predicted when Paul created the character. Because all the acts those days, most of them were all in sequins and they were Shirley Bassey orientated, you know, it was all very glamour. I went the other way with Lily and sort of gave her a scare, something with a tassel and roots. <laughs> it's a normal everyday woman. Never really. look back, <laughs> this is it, you know. Ne next thing you're on prime time telly doing blankety blank. Now, what happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> well done, Iris. But eventually he decided to escape from Lily's formidable shadow. Now it was Paul O'Grady appearing in sitcoms. God help that baby. She's as daft as a brush. Your brain does shrink when you're pregnant, Ray. Shrink? His was pea-sized to begin with. <laughs> Do you remember what she said when I asked her what her IQ was? 36, 28, 36. <laughs> and hosting a variety of daytime and evening chat and entertainment shows. Please welcome your host, Paul O'Grady. He was everywhere on primetime, with formats like Paul O'Grady's Saturday Night lineup and old favourite, Blind Date. What brings you on Blind Date tonight, then? Well, Bum, I'm looking for a different spice in my life because the spice has been a bit subdued recently. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look for the hot sauce in the hot stuff. You know what I mean? So, right now, I'm just trying to... You're looking confused. I am. <laughs> as well as a 14-year stint on BBC Radio 2. Right, so let me investigate here first, because I've heard you But for the last decade, the show that has most touched the public has been his multi-award-winning For the Love of Dogs. Aren't you lovely? Come here to me. A programme that perhaps, more than any other, beautifully showed the warmth, kindness and empathy that so characterised Paul O'Grady.